Michelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Hey, if you've never subscribed to this podcast, just push the little red button down there to get consistent teaching tools and tips to help you live your dreams. You know, here I am living a dream in Paris, France at a beautiful apartment, and I want to teach you the same thing. In fact, today's podcast is called Visualize Money. I mean, that sounds so blunt and so (laughs) just there you go, but I just wanted to talk about this topic of visualizing money because do you know that God's the one who said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Well, everything begins on the inside before it ever shows up on the outside. You know, God has given us two types of sight, physical sight and spiritual sight. Physical sight is obviously what we see, the gorgeous Eiffel Tower right there. But spiritual sight is what you see on the inside that people around you don't have a clue what you're imagining. Well, God wants you to use your eye of faith, your spiritual sight, to visualize where you wanna go in life. In fact, you know, Napoleon Hill said, if you do not see great riches in your imagination, you'll never see them in your bank balance. Well, again, Albert Einstein said, your imagination is everything. He said it's simply a preview of life's coming attractions. Well, obviously successful people talk about using the gift of the imagination and visualizing where you wanna go. You know, Bob Harrison used to say, if you wanna see more increase, you gotta see more increase. Where? On the inside. Well. God's the one who came up with this. You know, I've shared in the past how when they were building the Tower of Babel, ungodly people trying to build this structure to reach heaven, and God's the one who said, this is just the beginning of what they will do. He said, now nothing they have imagined they can do will be impossible for them. So think about that. Nothing you can imagine yourself doing will be impossible for you, but you have to imagine it. So you have to imagine having a job that pays $100,000. Imagine a, you know paying off your student loans. Imagine logging into your bank account and moving $10,000 into your savings or paying off that MasterCard or that student loan. You've got to imagine it, visualize it on the inside before it shows up on the outside. In fact, one of my favorite stories I like to tell is of Jack Canfield. Now, Jack Canfield said that he grew up you know in a very poor home He said his his mom died when he was young, his dad was abusive, and he had a poor mentality. Well, he began to be mentored by W. Clement Stone, multi, multi multi-millionaire, very successful man. And W. Clement Stone was trying to change Jack's mentality and his mindset. And he said, Jack, you know, what I want you to do is imagine a dream that's outside the realm of possibility. He said, what is that dream? Jack said, well, at the time I was making $25,000 a year. So a dream that's just outside the realm of possibility would be to make $100,000 in one year. So Debbie Clement Stone said, then that's what I want you to wrap your faith around. So he said, I want you to see it on the inside. Imagine yourself being handed $100,000. Imagine having a job that pays you $100,000. And then he said, I want you to write it down and keep that dream before your eyes. Well, Jack didn't know what to do. So he said he enlarged a $1 bill and he wrote $100,000. Well, then he said he taped it to the top of his ceiling in his bedroom. So every night it was the last thing he saw when he went to bed. Every morning, that was the first thing he saw when he woke up was his dream. Well, and he began using the power of words, like the Bible says, call those things that be not as though they are. So he started speaking to that money and saying, I declare that I receive $100,000. Well, he said a couple months went by, nothing changed. Now, I always feel like I should repeat that part. A couple months went by and nothing changed. In other words, you feel like a fool, you know, talking to a fake $100,000 bill taped to your ceiling. Well, he said he just kept doing it. One day he said he um, had this idea. Years ago, when he was trying to be successful and go for his dream, he said he had written a book that did not sell, felt like a complete failure. He had 400,000 copies sitting in a warehouse, just rotting away. And he had this idea. He said, if I were to sell those books for 25 cents each, I could make $100,000. Just had the idea. Well, he said one day he's just going about his life, you know, and he goes to a grocery store and he just happened to glance over and see the National Enquirer. 
it's a real classy piece of literature. <laughs> and he said, I just had this thought. If I could get an article in that magazine, I bet I could make, you know, sell my books and make 100000 But he went on with life, speaking to his vision, speaking to that dream. All of a sudden, he flies to New York. He speaks at a university to a class. About 60 people showed up. But he said, I gave the best speech I could. Well, at the end of the speech, this woman walks up to him and she said, I really enjoyed your talk. She said, in fact, I'd like to help you get other talks out around the country. She said, by the way, I'm a freelance writer for the National Enquirer. (laughs) Well, I'm sure you guessed it. She published an article by Jack Canfield in the Enquirer, and he said by the end of that year, he made $93,000. Well, some people say, Jack, you didn't make 100. He said, well, I was a lot closer to the 100 that, you know, was my vision than I was the 25 I used to make. So he didn't take it as it didn't work. Well, he said his wife came to him one day and she said, Jack, if this will work for 100,000, do you think it would work for a million? He said, of course it would. So he said, I just added a zero, put it to the ceiling and started declaring that they, you know, attract million dollar ideas. We receive a million dollars. And they just kept declaring, kept declaring. Well, all of a sudden, God gave Jack an idea to write a little book called Chicken Soup for the Soul. I'm sure you probably have a copy or you know someone who does. (laughs) Well, Jack Canfield wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. And do you know, the publisher handed him a check for $1 million. It was the first $1 million that publisher had ever written, and it was to Jack Canfield. Now, I want you to think about it. A guy went from making $25,000 a year to within three years' time being handed a check for a million dollars. Why? Well, I like to say he gave himself permission to dream. He used his imagination and he just thought, this is outside the realm of possibility, but I'm going to go ahead and dream it. He visualized being handed a million dollars. Well, you've got to do the same thing. Not only that, he wrote the vision down and he kept it before his eyes. So I want to challenge you. Do the same thing with whatever your dreams are. You know, like I said, God's the one who said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Well, God wants you so blessed that you can be a blessing. You know, that's what we're doing here in France. We're giving out. We're sowing into churches. We're sowing into lives. We're giving books away all over the streets. Well, God wants you to be a blessing. So I want to help you out. In fact, this month I'm giving you the first chapter of my book, Imagine Big, absolutely free. Now all you have to do is click the link in the description to get chapter one. You can just download it and just get started dreaming, thinking, imagining where you want to go. So I believe this will help you take advantage of it. Chapter one, absolutely free. And... If you're enjoying the podcast, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so I can keep you motivated to live your dreams. So from Paris, France, thank you for watching. Au revoir. I see me something added to something.